Welcome to Thomas's non-driving part because um, let me just second I need to check some emails here because uh, today I'm not driving because the car is driving the Mercedes EQS in the level 3 automated driving mode and it works here on the autobahn on the motorway up to a speed of 60 kilometers an hour and then I'm actually really allowed to pick up my smartphone and check my emails without being you know sent to jail. I wear the COVID mask uh, by the way because we have a Daimler engineer with us on board. Damn COVID rules, but I think you still recognize me, you know. Um, maybe check another video out if you want to see my face. <laughs> but today, mask reporting, and this is really interesting. Here at the steering wheel, there are these additional buttons, and when they light up in a wide way, then I can click it, and the um, system is getting activated. At the moment, still you know, confined for the motorway, and that's it. But this is actually a good uh, use case. We are in this simulated traffic jam. This is a testing area of Mercedes. Therefore, we only have Mercedes cars and we'll go through different scenarios. And one of the cool things is for sure, not only with the smartphone and we can finally legally check our emails and also in a safe way, we can also browse here the internet and check out, watch Autogefühl. So I can watch myself driving this vehicle here myself Oh, by the way, don't skip the advertising. We need the advertising revenue so we can still produce the content. So never skip the advertising or get YouTube Premium. If you get the YouTube Premium, then uh, there's no advertising and you pay a monthly fee, that's, that's also okay. Well, but I mean, you already see it right here. Actually, they would have to pay double now because they have kind of the advertisement in the... Ad okay, later on more about that. But you see, it, it works with the browser. The browser would also work when we are stationary. That also works. And usually the way is then when we start driving, the browser is disallowed. Only when we are in this autonomous mode, then we can browse the internet once again, watch YouTube videos or whatever. And that's of course another cool use case when you're really in a very long traffic jam. You just activate the screen and you can legally watch Autogefühl. I've recently seen someone who has attached like an iPad right here while driving and using the smartphone and smoking a cigarette. <laughs> well, now that's supposed to work. But at least in this case here, legally possible to watch Autogefühl then while not driving, actually. And we also have even more interesting scenarios coming up here because you've maybe seen it already here. This vehicle is automatically forming a, you know, an emergency lane, so we're not in the middle of the lane, but we are rather towards the right side of the lane, so there's an emergency corridor for a possible emergency vehicle to come and so on. Also, there are another safety mechanisms. For example, I have to be ready within 10 seconds to react to take over the steering again. And when I move my seat backwards, says here steering wheel and pedal must be reachable so the car is always saying Thomas don't do that here in a situation where the car is parked on the right side see here car is adjusting on its own another one parked right here I'm really doing nothing I promise this is really working and there are no external sensors connected or something it's just that this car is equipped there we go now with the fuel video it's just that this car has the additional LiDAR, the laser sensor, and you'll have to pay it optionally for the level three autonomous function. So that will be an option. It will not be cheap at all because the laser sensor is also quite cost intensive. And of course you need the software and so on. So I, I'm not allowed to move too far away from the steering wheel. Otherwise the vehicle would say like, I have to take over the steering again. And this, by the way, a very nice testing area. You can also do some high speed testing up there. Uh, maybe at later stage there will also be high speed autonomous driving possible at the moment as said uh, restricted to like uh, 60 kilometers or like it should be like 30 miles an hour or something like this this, this is really interesting right <laughs> watching watching the same car driving while i'm driving why not i mean this is really impressive and it doesn't take long that you get used to it so um, there was also recently um, a, a survey like how many minutes do people uh, need until they trust an autonomous vehicle. And it's really just a matter of minutes, like maximum of 10 minutes. Um, it also depends a little bit on the age group, for example, like how in like, you know, younger people who are also more like, you know, connected to technology and so on. They just need like one or two minutes and it's like, yeah, okay, I trust it and let's go, you know? And then others were taking a little bit longer. But the thing is you get used to it so fast 
and this situation here really feels like normal traffic. They have made it quite realistic with all the vehicles moving here, moving left and so on. Very, very interesting. And there's another surprise coming up very soon, I can, I can promise. So I'm also um, asking myself, will this be the end of my job when I'm not doing test reviews anymore, but self-test reviews? I don't know. I mean, there's still a lot to talk about it course you know infotainment interior this will be the same exterior will be the same will it be we, we have to see about that but at the moment it's kind of split you have the situation where I say like we're in the traffic it's boring anyway I use the autonomous driving function I check my emails I use the time I have it's about like spending quality time in the vehicle and then I can spend another quality time myself in the vehicle when I drive myself once again on the countryside road and so on and still have this this driving pleasure you know um, there's of course the the full review here of this vehicle where i drive it myself and it's really amazing i can i, I can promise so you should check out this video we'll also link it in the video description so let's see i think they have one more scenario for us coming coming um, ahead here i will be surprised myself uh, i don't don't know i know about it yet here by the way is also another light signature that it, that i already know i'm in this autonomous mode um, I also wanted to start this video initially uh, 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 and eat something, um, but they actually didn't allow me to. So because I said, yeah, maybe when I have the plate here and it could interfere with the airbag and so on. And yes, that's true. I said, I'm a, I mean, I just want to do it as a gag, you know, but yeah, they're very strict as for safety uh, and stuff. And so, um, yeah, I wasn't allowed to do it, but I thought it would be so cool to see, to, you know, but I mean, um, I think this is, is no problem when you have like a light snack or something in, in one hand or something. Just probably not that good when you use cutlery and, you know, big plates and so on and so on. But I'm really astonished. It works very smoothly also. You can also watch here the steering reactions. It's not that it was like correcting left, right again and so on. Everything in a very smooth transition. And yeah, this is probably one of the best level three, um, you know, standard vehicle or stock vehicle demonstrations we have seen yet. When will it be really allowed? Theoretically, it is already allowed in a lot of different markets. They are now just implementing it that it really works with the S-Class and with the EQS and also with the Maybach. And um, yeah, so it will take a little bit more time until you can really do that. You can already order the vehicle then with this function. It was also possible with the S-Class and then you basically have to wait for it. Yeah, and um, yeah, Jonas, um, by the way, had a great idea earlier. Um, so when you want some privacy yourself, but you don't want to drive, you, <laughs> you order another chauffeur driver that is driving a car in front of you and reducing the speed up to 60 kilometers an hour. And then you take this car here behind the car and you can not drive yourself here. So this, uh, by the way, also an interesting case here um, in front of us. You maybe heard the horn. And um, so when another vehicle is coming too close to you, maybe like doing reverse gear by mistake or something, then the car here, the autonomous vehicle, is automatically using the horn. So I don't have to press it. It's being done automatically to warn the car in front of us, for example. How does the car know all of this? There are so many sensors hidden inside the vehicle. First of all, normal parking sensors using radar and so on, the front big radar. Then there are the cameras, not only for 360 degree view, but also an additional camera that is placed a little bit higher, watching the area behind us. And then exclusively here for this level three version, when you have the option, as I said earlier, the LiDAR, the laser sensor, we're just giving another layer of, of sensoring and when you have this redundant amount of sensors then you can also go sure that you really realize what's going on and can just check even more different kind of situations i would like to know from you guys what you think about autonomous driving in general will we have a problem with even more people getting unemployed especially like taxi drivers bus drivers for example would you like to give away the steering wheel and say like okay, that's fine, I can better use the time I have here. Or would you rather say, when I drive a car, I drive myself, period. I can understand both ways and maybe there will be something in between. 
This is, by the way, also interesting. So in the, the cars in front of us, um, like not this one, but the one before that did like really harsh braking. And we didn't even recognize that because when the systems here realize it very, very early that the car in front of us is braking, then our braking process can be very, very smooth and we don't have any, you know, like stressed out effect or something because it's just, you know, not that, you know, not that spontaneously. So when all of these cars in front of us would have the very same system, the traffic flow actually would be better because a lot of traffic jams just occur because of human error. Someone is braking too late, the one behind is braking even um, then, then, of course, earlier, and then earlier, 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 and then we have the traffic jam. This happens, happens quite a lot, and it's causing a lot of traffic damage, let's call it that way. Uh, but in this case then here, when we all have the sensors, and everyone is having, a, this is really interesting, it look, looks like, it looks like it orchestrated, it is orchestrated in this case, but the, the thing is, when all of these cars would have the same system in place, it would look exactly like this. I mean, you see here, the distance of the car, I mean, this, this is so interesting to see, it almost looks weird, it almost looks unreal. You would never see this yet in a real traffic situation, yet. But soon, this could be reality. I mean, it, this, it looks like, I cannot, can't even describe it. It's, it's really bizarre when they all keep the very, very same distance and everything is like in, in, in such order. We also have a truck here, by the way. So they use all, also this area here for truck tests, for example. Um, there were also earlier videos here on our channel about um, autonomous truck driving and so on. There was also this thought initially um, of this platooning, so different trucks drive behind each other, but they skipped this idea because they saw it doesn't make so much sense. Oh, now there's a emergency vehicle coming. Whoa, yes. So take control of the vehicle now. Okay. Yeah, that was maybe a little bit too late now, but you see, one thing is when you are in this autonomous mode, you're basically in it and you're not paying so much attention anymore because you trust the vehicle. So you have to get out of it, really, and that's why the car is also giving acoustic warning. I mean, the vehicle was already forming, forming an emergency lane, so in this case it was no problem, but Mercedes still says that such complex and safety relevant situations we should still wake up the driver and say like, maybe there's something needed to be done. And one problem is, we also had that recently in our autonomous minibus demonstration. For example, let's say, like this, and maybe there's a through line, or maybe that's like, we have to go in the grass or something to make way for the, for the policeman. Then maybe we have to break a rule in order to act correctly. That sounds weird, but that's what humans sometimes do. We break rules intentionally for the greater good. That sounds philosophically uh, interesting. I have to think about this, but um, the thing is, um, or maybe when, when there's like a vehicle parked in the wrong way and we have to just, you know, get to another lane, an autonomous vehicle would say like, oh, I'm breaking a rule, that's not allowed, I'm not doing it. But humans have to do it sometimes. But here already it was working quite well. By the way, I can activate the autonomous driving here once again. Here, when we, everything is sorted, I click here, left thumb or right thumb, and then we're in the autonomous mode again. So now the police could pass us. This is really, you know, this scenario they built up here is so realistic. Let's see what the vehicle is doing now. Now again, take control of the vehicle. Okay, I'm doing that. So, so if I'll be a little bit harsher on the steering wheel or I can press the brake, that will also be possible. Well, I think the transition here from autonomous drive to driving yourself is also very smooth. So um, we've seen earlier demonstration, you know, where like the steering wheel was going in and out and so on, but takes, that takes time. So I think the pros we've seen here, very interesting. If you want to see more, we'll keep you updated We're on this technology topic here in Autogefühl. And now, of course, tune in where we really drive the EQS ourselves. If you haven't seen that, you should take a look at that.